Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Lesson 500. The title of today's lesson is The Difference Between Chortle, Snort, and Horse Laughing. Okay, if somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. Now, in the past, I have done some, I have done a video on, I think, a giggle, chuckle, and smirk. Okay, and a lot of times when I did that video, sometimes I got questions about chortle. Well, what's a chortle? Chortle is kind of similar to the chuckle. All right, so let's, let's start covering it here. A chortle is a somewhat happy, suppressed, muffled laugh, similar to a chuckle. So they're both similar that they, you're both trying to make sure that the laugh doesn't get too out of control. It doesn't get too wild. So you're suppressing it. You're kind of holding it back. Now, chuckle, I think, is a little more suppressed, and it tends to be used more in situations where it may not be appropriate to laugh, or if you did laugh too loud, you know, it, it doesn't look right. Like, for example, if you're on the bus or the train, and you're reading a newspaper or a book, and you laugh out loud, like, ah, ha, 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 people will turn around and think you're crazy or <laughs> look at you. So you might just give a little chuckle, like, <laughs> something like that. Um, okay. So, so, all right, let's continue here. But with less restraint and often mixed with slight snorting. So, uh, slight snorting or the back of the throat sounds often to express glee or happiness. All right. This point's also important. The word chortle is believed to be derived as a portmanteau, you know, a mixture of two words combined together, uh, a mixture of chuckle and snort. So it is like a chuckle, but with some snorting in it. So, so some nasal sound, the sound that's coming through the nose. Um, Lewis Carroll is usually given credit with coining the word, which first appeared in his poem, Jabberwocky, and later made public in the 1871 novel, Through the Looking Glass, or you might know him more famously. He's really the author of the Alice in Wonderland stories. Okay, so he's the one that kind of came up with the word. Chortle, that's where it first appeared. So now what is a chortle? Again, if we say chuckle, more like, <laughs> but uh, chortle be like, <laughs> like that. You're not letting it get too crazy. You're not letting it go too far, but you're a little louder than a chuckle. You're, it's probably in a situation where it's kind of okay to do that. Uh, you might get a little bit of the throat sound and a little bit of the, the nasal sound, too. All right, let's continue. Uh, a snort is a nasal sound. So snort by itself is not a laugh, but we often describe a lot of laughs as a snorting laugh. Uh, so it is usually a loud sound, uh, a loud noise through the nose that people sometimes make when they are angry or laughing. Uh, it might also help to imagine some animals we often describe as snorting, such as pigs or bulls. Like pigs, you know, that would be like more like a pig. A bull would be more like the angry snorting, like kind of like that. All right. So now, what's a what's a snorting laugh? All right. Well, think of the snorting. You know, I got. Uh, so sometimes people, I, I remember there was a TV show, Seinfeld, sometimes made fun of uh, some people, I think a girl or something that had a really bad snorting laugh, like really, I know, she's like, <laughs> I kind of like that. So <laughs> that would be it. So where you're really making that snorting sound through your nose. All right, let's continue. Now we got a horse laugh. All right. A horse laugh is described as a laughing sound that sounds similar to a horse, okay? To a horse neighing. All right, now when, um, remember horses neighing, like, neigh, neigh, neigh. That's a neighing. That's the sound that a horse normally makes. So, neighing. It is often described as a loud, boisterous laugh, meaning lively and noisy. So, what is a horse laugh do you probably make a little body language a little bit like a horse too and you're know, like like you know the <laughs> this is kind of like a horse laugh okay i hope you got that now all right and here we're just going to give three examples of how we would use it in a sentence to finish this up uh here's the first example his humorous re remark produced a few chortles 
from the members of the board. You know, maybe this is the board of directors. Maybe it may not be appropriate to laugh too loud. You know, I don't know. It depends on the situation. Uh, number two here, Debbie snorted with laughter. So if you had one of those laughs where, you know, you got a lot of nasal uh, noises coming through. Uh, and the last one, uh, the joke was so funny, she let out uh, a high, horse laugh. Okay, anyway, hope you got it. Hope it was clear. Hope it was informative. Hope you got a better idea of, you know, being able to tell these three different types of laugh now. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.